Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and another unboxing. Today, as you can see from the title, we're doing a Saint Laurent unboxing and it's gonna be two things. I'm very excited about this, so let's hop in. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do is the bag. I'm gonna start with this bag. Oh, this is another bag that's been on my wish list forever and you've seen it on my blog in wish list for Christmas, for birthdays. It's literally one of my dream bags. Um, yeah, I'll just show it to you instead of just taunting you. So, I didn't get the box for it, but it comes in a little uh, dust bag. It says summer on, on it. And ta -da! Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is the Sac de Jour um, in the black caskin leather in the baby size. The Sac de Jours come, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that, they come in a nano version, they come in a baby version, they come in a small version, and then I think there's another size after that, if, if I'm not mistaken, again, please. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. This is my day-to-day -day bag, it's my work bag, it's my parents bag, honestly. I'm the type of person that I love my bags so much. I wear them everywhere. The Sac de Jour bag is, as you can see, it's a very classic design. It's very structured. It has four, five little feet on the bottom. So if you pop it somewhere, it's not gonna sit directly on the table. I've never put my bags on the ground. That's, please don't put your bags on the ground. It's beautifully, beautifully crafted. It has two top handles, but it also comes with a shoulder strap, which is adjustable. You can take the shoulder strap uh, out if you want to. It has a middle pocket inside, which comes with a zipper. Not all of them come with a zipper. This is something I found while I was looking uh, to buy this bag. And I don't know if it's the older models that don't come with the zip pocket, but I was very happy that I, this one had it because it's very important for, like, I feel just safer if I you know I have my cards in a zipped pocket. Uh, especially because it's an open bag. It has two different compartments and it also has a little pocket here. Uh, it has the accordion styling. Mine has a, it's lined with white leather in the accordion part. You can, if you wanted to fit even more stuff inside, you can always pop this open and it expands. So you can really fill it up. I don't, I don't want to stretch it out and to be fair, I do carry a lot of things with me, but I don't overstuff my bags in general. It's just, I feel like I can do it very little, which is why I also like love my uh, smaller bags, like my Bulgari small bag. Anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It comes with a lot and I had mine engraved. But yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, I keep the lock just inside its little pocket just because I don't want it to scratch the bag, but obviously do as you please. So, moving on from this one, I'll just put it aside here. You can see its little prettiness. The next thing I have is another item that was on my wish list forever and a day. <laughs> uh, it's a pair of ankle boots. I have the box for them to come in this beautiful uh, Saint Laurent box. <sighs> Lots of tissues. And then they're individually uh, wrapped in their dust bags. This is it. They're so, so beautiful. I love the shape. They're, I've been eyeing this since before moving to Milan a few years ago. And that's when I saw them and I've been wanting them since then. Uh, so, I mean, just like the bag. Obviously, the bag is a classic part of the Sauron collection. You can always find it in their boutiques. Uh, it's an iconic bag that will last the test of time, in my opinion. Just like the bag, the boots are iconic because if they, I've seen them since 2015 or even before that, and I got them last year. Um, I'll see if they're still on the site, and I'll link below both the bag in different variations for you guys, but also the boots if I find them. They're pointy boots, as you can see, and I just love the heel, the structure of the heel. It's just pretty. You look like this. What I do have to say with these boots is that they're not very comfortable, unfortunately. I could wear them. I've worn them 
first time it was my fault. I wore them um, for a whole day and then after for an event. So I was literally in them in, for 12 hours and my feet were killing me. But again, I wore them for 12 hours and it was the first time they weren't broken in. Uh, that might have been my fault. But they're perfect for events. They're perfect for going out for like short uh, period of time. So I wouldn't wear them for the whole day. Uh, but who knows, maybe they need even more breaking in and then they'll get even more comfortable. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post there often, especially on stories. Um, and yeah, click the subscribe button and your notification bell so you can hear from me when I post a new video. Have a fantastic day, everyone.